Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is a... Um, th this video was actually taken while I was live on stream. Um, so this is really going to be a stream clip, but basically it's, it's about a potential leak. Y you can't really take any of this as fact, and I wanted to go ahead and put this disclaimer at the beginning of the video, because uh, obviously this is just some random person posting on the forums. They say, like, they've seen the classic login screen and all kinds of stuff. But I think it's a fun thing to talk about. We talked about it a little bit on my stream. So... Uh, I just want to put together this uh, little clip from my stream, and I hope you guys enjoy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, let's see what this is. Supposed classic launch detail links. Classic WoW is in a pre-alpha state. Mostly all quests are done. They started working on Dungeons and Battlegrounds. I'm not surprised by this. 17 devs are working for the game. Two former NOS devs for assuring authenticity. It might have been lip service for an interview, but, like, I, I agree. It's It's moderately... Surprising that they would have two former NOS devs, but back in December, January time, they had that J. Allen Brack interview with Forbes, the Forbes article where he said they would welcome the NOS devs, uh, like they said, Viper or Damon, their, their input would be welcome. It would be kind of surprising to have like a third party in there, but they at least said it before. So this leak, which you really can't put too much faith into, right? I mean, it's anything like this, you can't really put too much faith into it. It might've just been like really, really well planned and thought out based on like the previous news that had come out. So where it like seems authentic and somebody's just trying to like do this for fun. That's kind of how I feel about that. Don't, they don't think there will be a long beta phase. Only changes, improved textures and spell effects, but still using the old models. I'm pretty happy with this. I feel so, so about this this they're saying the only changes are improved textures we thought i i thought this would happen because like again like i said 1080p isn't going to be a standard or wasn't a standard back then now it's kind of like the standard they're going up to 4k resolutions like with the client uh spell effects i hope they're not changing animations but if they're just increasing the resolution kind of you know increasing the amount of particles or whatever i understand this is fine that's an accessibility thing you're, you're just a jerk if you want to like colorblind people cannot play wow classic I mean, I, 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 like, that's not a big deal. Feel so so about this. Battle.net will have some restrictions on PvP servers. There we go. Okay, if this is true, if this is true, this is a good thing. Okay, that's good. Eight servers per region, four PvP, two PvE, one RP PvP, one, okay. No in-game shop at the start, that's good. What I assume by things to add in an in-game shop later on, if they decide to do that, I would assume it would be server transfers. That's what I would assume. Stay safe, what's up, dude? How's it going? Thank you guys. Welcome, 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 guys. Sub will be included in retail out, or you pay less for classic only. Wow, I'm shocked. Okay, again, this is assuming all this would be true. I'm shocked that this would be a thing. This is good. This is very uh, player friendly. This is very, very player friendly, but I'm shocked that they're allowing it. I'm, I'm very, very shocked by this. Launch about April, June of 2019. Okay. If this is true, I thought that if it got to, like, late summer, when it was ready, I thought they might milk it to do the 15th anniversary deal. But I'm not particularly surprised by this if they're going to have a testing period by the end of the year or early next year. This would not be surprising to me. So, actually, we talked about this. Staysafe and I did. Staysafe has, has said, at least, I don't know if he, if he told this to you guys, but he said to me that he thought it could be early next year. So, if this is true, I mean, Staysafe would be right. There will be announcement and gameplay at BlizzCon. Okay, we know that much. Then again, look at this. All this stuff could be fake, and they just throw in this to like, oh, look at validity. This is something that we know is true already. <laughs> German to English Google Translate. I learned from a reliable source that the pre-alpha build is already in place and the zones quest are already in the final stages. Only at instances in Battleground Little was done. There are 70 people working on the game and only Classic. Two former NOS devs who have gotten Blizzard to comply with and control the Classic feeling on the boat. One discusses whether there should be any long-term beta phases. Allegedly, everything is on such a good standard that one wants to settle for a two-week open beta. The only things that really should make a difference compared to the actual classic is one, the graphics. There will be 4K assets and better textures and vision. I, okay, I kind of I thought this was going to be a thing. Um, vision, um, so, so on. In addition, the spell effects are better. I'm worried about this. I don't, I don't want to see, like... Unless it's just like higher resolution. If it's higher resolution, that's that's a totally different thing than like updated animations. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, hopefully they just mean higher resolution. 
There should also be a colorblind mode. Uh, I don't mind that at all. I mean, that's an accessibility thing. I, I probably will play in colorblind mode. Models remain the same, both from the world and the characters. Good. Two will be battled and they'll also try to continue and maintain the wall between Horde and Alliance on PvP servers. Very nice. On the subject of servers, I found it very interesting that at the beginning, you want to create only eight servers per language, including four PvP, two PvE, one RP PvP, and one RP PvE. I think personally for too little, but more effort you probably don't want to do. Mmm. Okay. In-game shop is not initially planned, but one tries to weigh buying Astral Tiger and... I hope they're not adding ways to buy stuff that you have, like, to buy stuff that you can currently get in the game. I hope they don't add that. That would be really, like, that would, that would frustrate me, personally. Um, the subscription model has been thought of something special. There will be a half price model for WoW Classic, so five euros a month. If one takes a full price model as with retail, WoW Classic is integrated. I think this is an outstanding idea. And this is this is so this is so fan friendly. This is so player friendly. Cause there is there is a number of people that don't want to play retail at all. And they want to play classic only and they're gonna pay less for it. I think that's so player friendly. The game itself is launched via Battle.net World of Warcraft, okay. I mean, then you can switch in the game by pressing a button on the bottom right on vanilla, or maybe classic or something is probably what it'll say, which changes the whole browser for classic login screen. Uh, I was already shown, and the log looks just awesome. Okay. Uh, I mean, again, like, you shouldn't, I mean, not, you shouldn't assume that this is true. The whole thing, allegedly, across the board, for the sake of reading this and doing this, like, this is just interesting to look at. In general, the mood about Classic is very divided within the development team. Some of them really wanted to join the Classic team. Here, they also got developers from Overwatch and Diablo, while especially designers at current WoW had zero in mind. I doubt. I mean, sure, like, not everybody likes their job, but I, I doubt that you didn't have... 15 people in the company that were excited about Classic that wanted to work on it. <laughs> that were that were capable of doing the job. I, I very much doubt that. 15 people. Most importantly, release is almost certainly April, June. Has nothing to do with another release of which he did not want to tell me anything. An announcement and gameplay will be added to BlizzCon. Anyway, there will be a lot to do with Vanilla WoW at this BlizzCon. Okay, well, that's something we, we've already assumed. <clears throat> so these are the sources for this. Um... Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I, of course, I totally understand what this is saying. Uh, habe as Weiner Verlash... Uh, never mind, uh, you guys won't understand uh, my German. Uh, I'm very fluent, but uh, I don't think you guys will understand. So, the, the one, like, really redeeming quality of this post is that, uh, I guess the original German post was posted two days prior to the announcement of the classic demo, so maybe it was just, like, a really good guess or something like that. We'll see. We'll see how true this is, right? I mean, we can we can come back and uh, check this out maybe after BlizzCon if they start announcing some of this stuff. I mean, who knows? They might say all this stuff at BlizzCon. It would be huge. But um, very interesting. Very interesting to see right now. For sure. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And uh, if you guys want more WoW Classic news, feel free to sub to my YouTube channel. Thanks. <laughs>